Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. This is the Bad 300 and we are in here with our next episode. And this episode we're going to talk about plowing. Yes, plowing. There is a very good reason I plowed this up. And that is so I can hire a worker to do some of the stuff associated with it. But for right now, we're going to look at plowing. So we're going to hop in here. And we're going to hook up. Actually, before I get to that, uh, there's a glitch with cleaning. You notice this is clean. The tractor's clean. But the arms are not clean. And the same thing over here. Clean. Clean. Not clean. You can wash the entire vehicle by spraying this. You could spray right here and you could clean the entire vehicle, but yet this arm, whenever it is attached to, whenever the loader arms are attached, it will not come clean with the pressure washer. You actually have to detach it, which is kind of an annoying bug. There's been a few bugs and glitches I've noticed, nothing uh, too major, or at least nothing game breaking. Now what we're going to do is, there's two ways to use the plow. Number one is, well, you can use it like the... Um, other guys and it re just resets your field but the other thing you can do with it if we look here in the menu that's up we got the um, you know you gotta lower your plow and then you can go Y and what that does is that it allows this plow to create new fields so like this field here whenever they're seeding they seem to have trouble with doing the last little strip because they will stop just short. So let's expand the field a little. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. is getting clean edges. Clean edges are kind of hard to do. And let's go right about there. And as long as you keep one tire in the track from the other one, you will remain good. Now this little bit I am not going to plan, I'm going to wait till next go around because I just wanted to show you the features of the plow. And now a plow does take a lot longer than a cultivator unless you have a very high powered high horsepower tractor which uh, truthfully is something that I am going to need very very soon is to start replacing these uh, tractors because that is the next segment is we're going to talk about as soon as we drop this plow off and something so far I haven't been able to tell if cleaning the equipment actually reduces the maintenance cost or not it would be very nice if it did but I will finish that up next time so I can uh, clean up the edges And if you hadn't noticed, 
this field I'd already done it to. Of course, that field has been done. And I got the time on slow-mo right now. But we are going to buy our first field. Let's go ahead and get him parked back in place. As you can see, our equipment is growing. But because of the age of the blue tractor and both the red ones, our uh, maintenance bill is getting up there on the daily. It's getting up to about five grand. Now, if you see my last special, you will know as to why, where I compared the two trucks, why I went with the newer truck, just because it is way better for hauling or pulling trailers. Now, the first piece of property we're going to buy is this one here, and I actually have two that I want to buy, and they are both because I want to start by buying all the properties that are close to the farm. And there's enough room on here to make this bigger or to add for tractor and equipment parking. So we got this guy up pretty much. So let's uh, let's start here. Or no, let's uh, we're gonna buy this field. We now own it, and we get the crop that is on it. Now something else, if I can find one. Let's uh. Let's go like this. Let's go to the map and see if we can find a small field. Just so I can try to uh, show this to you easier. Let's see here. Let's go by... We want fields that are a small field that is growing. Like, I don't think 8, but let's go over here to 10. Let's visit this field here. Now let's go R. Okay. Now we'll see if this field gets to do it. Now, by the way, if you do them, there is a uh, thing on your Steam uh, to uh, complete by doing at least one mission for every field. But let me hook this up. And uh, if you guys like the uh, one I did where the, um, I don't know if it's, well, it'll be posted by the time this one is and it will be um, just a pure instrumental of course you guys know I only use uh, Tenokiax, Technoax, however you say his name for music if you guys like something like that uh, just leave a note in the comments there and I'll be sure to make more just you know some of the stuff I do like in between missions so without any further ado let's hit b and let's get this done and see if i can show you that glitch be back as soon as i'm done spraying okay so we're almost done fertilizing this field right now this is where the glitch it doesn't always work but sometimes uh, i've been able to do this glitch uh fairly consistently so we will see here just gotta wait for the mission to end Okay, now that the mission's in and you're back at the thing, don't, without moving, hit R again. And it lets you fertilize again. Now, again. And there you go. So, as you see, we just made four, five grand, and actually seven, almost eight, Oh shoot, a yeah, this is over 10 grand probably right there just from doing that. And that is a glitch I found on multiple fields. So if you do that to the bigger fields, eh, you can uh, earn a lot of money. And yeah, that was something else if you didn't know. When you cycle through your vehicles, if there's uh, one that you can enter and you want to enter it, you just uh, right click to cycle through or you right click over here to cycle back the other way and boom enter I'm already in it 
But okay, that right there was the first field I wanted to buy. Now we got 169,000. And so far, I really haven't been taking a whole lot of my crops. I've been doing missions. Mission, 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 mission to earn money. And I've just been kind of stocking my crops up. So when that big mission bell rings, I can get them. But I definitely need to get more land and start improving the equipment. I, I, all three tractors need to be replaced. But I'm not going to replace them with low, with the low horsepower one. I'm going to wait till I can afford a higher horsepower, eh, at least two two fifty. Because if we hit P here and we go to let's say cultivators right now this is only a 4.8 meter cultivator but it takes a 205 horsepower and i want to be able to buy you know one of these up here which this is a 14.5 meter which will do most of these fields lickety split and we're talking 200 so I need uh, or 350 horsepower so I need something just over 350 horsepower so yeah now see this one right here would actually eliminate a step which is at six meters which wouldn't be bad but I need a 180 horsepower tractor and if we go over here to tractors this guy right here well, see, these are the 220. Let's see here. Okay, so we could go with this case here for 192. That's 225 horsepower. Let's, uh... Which we may not go with the case, because I'm going to also be looking at cost per day. Let's see, how much was that case? See, that case is only 190 per day, so that case is actually a little bit cheaper. I think this guy right here, yeah, 195 would be the minimum I would go with because this would also be able to run a full mower set and but he's 250 per day see this one's 160 but it's 165 let's see there's 200 240 and that jumps up to 235 so replacing our current tractors with something like this one right here which is 225 horsepower now let's go into cultivators and this one i think that one's going to be the wide that's a six meter which is two more meters that's six foot wider than we can do now and i think that is the only one that has uh that would save us a step so even though it's not the widest it would save us one of the fertilizer steps as long as we stay with sewing machines and I did get a new sewer I got one for doing corn that have the ability for like this one for fertilizer because that actually saves a step now see this one here now you look at this this takes 180 horsepower for that one which is six these are four or yeah three meters so this right here would double it plus it takes fertilizer now there's a six meter that's 170 let's go all the way up here to this one which does it this is 15 meters wide which would get a lot of seeds planted fast but we need a minimum of 270 horsepower so that is where a lot of this comes in. Now this field right here, we are also gonna buy. And with what's on here, we will have to probably lease the equipment to get that off, because I'm not ready to start with uh, beets and potatoes, but you never know how, uh, how far that goes. So there you have it, two glitches for you. Oh, ow. And, uh, oh, by the way, if you didn't notice, uh, take this truck off a ramp. The bottom of it looks like a matchbox car. No, I'm not joking. When you jump high enough, because this, this truck here is actually front heavy, as I will show you right at this hill here. 
but when you jump it'll flip upside down and the bottom looks like a matchbox car yeah that's freaking hilarious which if you think about it we're basically playing a digital version of matchbox cars just have to use a little less imagination which works out good for us adults so what do we got for equipment lined up now we have the thatcher we got the mower we got a plow we got the round baler we got one wagon this is up and it's a hell of a lot easier to back up we have the uh, new holland Two of the cases, both with forks, which any tractor I get will, two of them will definitely keep the front end loader attachment. We have the new cedar, which does corn, sunflower, soybeans, and beets, I think, or sweet potatoes, one of the two. Then of course we have two of these, which one of these, see these are funny. This, uh, let me, let me show you this real quick. Okay, right here. This is how many days you've had that said piece of equipment, which the longest one is that plow, which that plow costs $14 a day, and it's slightly in the red, which let's see if we can find the other. Yeah, see, that's normally $5 for maintenance on that. So, I need to figure out which one that is and then sell it but as you can see the new holland is costing us seven hundred and twelve dollars a day and both the cases one's costing a thousand the other's costing nine hundred and forty one and i'm not sure if how much cleaning them affects this it would be nice if you keep it cleaned if you know the tractor if you're constantly washing it if it would actually reduce that cost because clean equipment last longer and if I'm not mistaken this is the sales price here what you're getting for it anything in the red means you are definitely uh, losing then of course we have the bell wrapper and we have the cedar slash fertilizer then over here we have the wind rower, we have the hay wagon, and we have a very dirty, um, I forgot the name of it, trailer, but for picking up hay and straw. Then, of course, we got our uh, hay, st our uh, bell stacker, and then, of course, the water tank. Then, over here, we got our sprayer, then our woodworking tools, the stump grinder the tree the turbo saw and of course the chainsaw in our hand and then we have the water or the uh, uh, sludge tank we'll call it and here we got the newer combine Let's see I can jump up on the barrels and jump in here and then this is a fold up corn um, corn header let's go uh, headers it is I want to say uh, I think this header right here which does corn and sunflower and then the only thing left I would be able to is something that can harvest uh, beets and potatoes, which that requires, I guess I could buy one of these. Headers are attached to, okay, that's a header. I guess I could buy this. This harvester digs the sugar beets out of the ground. Note that the... Uh, something topper is needed prior to using this machine I'm gonna guess headers are attached to combine harvesters so I'm guessing I could get 
one of these uh, sugar beet harvesters. The foliage needed to cut with a cut with a home and topper like this one. Okay, so okay, I, I'm guessing I could buy this and this and be able to harvest beets. Yeah, is that what you guys do? Just beets. Yeah, so we're looking to harvest those. We're looking 70 to... So I may just plow that field under because that's a lot of cash right now. Because uh, I do not think any of the regular... Combine headers... does yeah see none of these yeah see none of those do beets potato and then see you got all the custom equipment for potatoes so it'll be a little bit before we deal too much with the uh, potatoes which of course this would be the end game self-propelled harvest collects potatoes in one go See, that would be the end game. Otherwise, you got to buy this and this, which those two together are a lot cheaper. You just slap on a tractor. Let's see, what is this? This is 110. So, actually, yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. We could get that now. But there we go. We are on our way to having a heck of a farm going on. We just bought a couple new pieces of land. So until next time, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Don't forget to like and share. And if you like the my farming simulator um, 17 run, go ahead and check out some of my other games I'm playing. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share. And like I said, if you like those musicals and just seeing me do, you know, harvest and unloading stuff like that, like I did in that one with the uh, forestry. Uh, just uh, leave me a hit up the like button and then leave me a um, note in the description. If you didn't like my video, click the dislike button. That's all right. All I ask is that you leave a uh, brief say, hey, I think you're a moron. And or uh, you talk too much. You didn't talk enough. Uh, you did this wrong. You did that, you know, because. If I'm not here entertaining you, then what am I doing here other than talking to myself? And I tell you what, that's I would love to be able to just jump. Look at that. I mean, I can leap a tractor in a single bound. Isn't that something? So until next time, guys, catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.